Hello everyone. Uh, today my subject is biochemistry. What is my subject? My subject is biochemistry. Biochemistry. And my topic is um, D glucose. D glucose. D glucose convert. Open chain. Sorry. Open chain D glucose. Open chain. Open chain D glucose convert into ring into ring make alpha and beta structure. Okay, so why we uh, why do you, we need a um, ring form? instead of open chain form and um, why the reason is because um, in the cell the glucose in the in in the cell inside the cell the glucose inside the cell the glucose can be open chain ring form can't be open chain form so that's why we have to know the conversion of how it's convert into the ring so because inside the cell there is no, there is no open, open chain form it's a ring form so right now look if you want to you do know what is the uh, molecular formula for d glucose molecular formula for d glucose is c6h12o6 this is the molecular formula for d glucose right now you do know the fischer position of d glucose because i showed you in my earlier videos the Fischer position of D-glucose is Okay So and this is aldehyde this is what aldehyde why this one is aldehyde because double dub look double bond o carbon double bond o carbon double bond o carbon is connected with carbon and hydrogen so if the, this carbon is connected within hydrogen instead of carbon so what is what is this one this is aldehyde and you do know that aldehyde if aldehyde aldehyde uh, react with any alcohol it gives us what intramolecular hemiacetal so if aldehyde aldehyde react with alcohol alcohol gives us what gives us it gives us intra molecular hemi acetal okay intramolecular hemi acetal so what do you understand you understand that aldehyde react with alcohol it gives us intramolecular hemi acetal so your question is right now if i show you the um, uh, mechanism of this one then you're going to be say what is my alcohol because aldehyde and alcohol both things is is inside the glucose everything is is in there everything is in there that means we have a OH and we have a aldehyde so that's why the aldehyde and alcohol everything is in the sa same chain form is everything is in the in in, in the in the glu glucose and it gives us intramolecular intramolecular hemiacetal okay right now i'll show you the how it's formed so you do know you do know that aldehyde cases this carbon is always number one this carbon is number two this carbon is number three this carbon is number four this carbon is number five this carbon is number six and okay right now you have to understand carbon number one look this is your carbon number one and this one has a double bond right and this is your H and then this carbon is connect with what this carbon is connect with this carbon this carbon has a what this carbon has a oh and h right 
this carbon is a H and OH and this carbon also connect with another carbon this carbon you see this carbon okay this carbon has a OH and H so this is carbon number one what happened you look you see this is carbon number one this is carbon number two and this is carbon number three and this this carbon number three also connect with what this carbon number three is connect with another carbon another carbon and this carbon has a what OH and H and this carbon number four this carbon number four is connect with what this carbon number four is connect with carbon number five this carbon carbon number five has a what carbon number five has a carbon number five is a what okay carbon number five has a ch2 oh this whole things carbon number five has a ch2 oh whole things and also carbon number 5 has a what? OH OH carbon number 5 is a OH and also carbon number 5 is a H and this is carbon number 6 so think right now this is carbon number one look carbon number one right this is carbon number one then look this carbon how fill up this carbon is fill up with two bond with oxygen and one with hydrogen one with hydrogen and another bond with carbon you see the carbon that means this carbon is a four bond two three four go to the this carbon this carbon carbon number one directly connected with carbon number two carbon number two is fill up how one hydrogen hand, one OH hand. One hydrogen hand, one OH hand. And this OH hand, look right now. This OH hand and this hydrogen is a two hand. This carbon and this carbon is a three. And this carbon number two also connected with carbon number three. And this carbon number three is connected with one OH, one H, same as like a carbon number two. Go to the carbon number four, the same thing. Go carbon number five. This is carbon number five one hand one bond is hydrogen this is my hydrogen bond one bond is ch2oh the whole things and one bond is oh you see the oh this so this carbon number one bond two bond three bond four bond so this carbon is also fill up and you want to make a what you want to make this one is ring so if you want to make this one is a ring what you have to do you have to draw the lone pair oxygen has a how many lone pair two lone pair this one this one Two lone pair as how many electron? Four electron. Excuse me. So look right now, these two lone pair, what they do? These two lone pair, these two lone pair attack carbon number one. Carbon number one. Why carbon number one? Because the formula is what? That carbon number five carbon number five carbon number five oxygen carbon number five oxygen attack to the carbonyl group carbonyl carbonyl group carbon Carbonyl group carbon means what? Where is it? You have a two double uh, double bond O. So carbonyl 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 ca group carbon is this this carbon carbon number one because carbon number one has a two uh, oxygen uh, double uh, double bond O. So right now what happened? Our formula is our rules are, is saying that carbon number five oxygen carbon number five oxygen two lone pair is going to be attacked to this one. So attacking this one, this is my motion number what? This is my motion number one. When this two lone pair attacking in here, that means what happened, look, this oxygen and this carbon is joint like that, is 
this two lone pair is joint like that. You see the joint? So when these two lone pair attack to this carbon, what happened? This carbon has it right now too many bond. So this carbon has a too many bond, that means five bond. But carbon never don't need a five bond. Carbon need a how many bond? Four bond. So that's why this oxygen is gonna be automatically break down. When this oxygen break down, what happened? Oxygen accept two electron. This is my motion number two. Motion number two. So look right now what happened. Then what happened look. I just copy everything because, uh, except th this two because this two what happened look right now I'll, I'll explain what happened look oxygen two lone pair donate to the carbon oxygen become a positively charged and this two lone pair this oxygen this oxygen accept when this is break down oxygen accept two electron and when oxygen accept two electron oxygen become a negatively charged oxygen anything except they become Acceptor person is always negative. When people donate, they become a positive. Donator people in our society is always positive. So oxygen donate to electron oxygen become a positively charged and uh, this oxygen accept to electron. That's why this oxygen become a negatively charged. When oxygen become a negatively charged, what happened? This step. This is my motion. This is these two lone pair. Atta to the hydrogen when this one grab the hydrogen take the hydrogen what happened this bond give the breakdown when this bond break down oxygen accept two electron so what happened this is my motion number one this is motion number two and this is motion number three and this is motion number four then what you form right now look Then you form You form this kind of structure okay right now right now you have to tell me this structure is a um, oh, sorry this structure is alpha or beta structure because if when you form a ring there is a two things you can two possible things you can form one is alpha structure uh, um, alpha 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 um, glucose pyranus and uh, beta glucopyranus so this one is alpha glucopyranus or this one is beta glucopyranus okay how you can figure out what is the pyranus i use the word is pyranus but i right now i have to explain what is pyranus pyranus is like look pyran it comes from pyran how pyran look like
पायरा ने लुक दिस इज पायरान ओके पायरान इज लुक लाइक दैट सो वॉट ए पैन दिस इज दिस इज माई पायरान सो दैट्स वाई your structure is look like a pyran so th that's why this is called um this is glucose so that's why its name is going to be pyranose pyranose gluco pyranose it's going to be gluco gluco pyranose gluco pyranose so right now you have to make sure this is alpha alpha gluco pyranose or this one is beta gluco pyranose so how we can figure out because look right now one thing you have to do is understand That this OH, this OH, carbon number one OH, carbon number one, carbon number one OH is opposite side of its opposite side of carbon number um, carbon number six. The, if it is opposite side, that means what it 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 gonna be? It's it would be alpha, alpha gluco gluco pyranose. alpha gluco pyranose gluco alpha gluco pyranose if if my carbon number 1 oh is same side not opposite side same side of carbon number 6 ch2 oh it would be beta structure beta gluco pyranose how look right now from this one there is two possible structure we can get So look right now. This is the things you have to understand that this OH and this CH to carbon number six is in the same side. If it is opposite side, it's going to be alpha, and if it is same side, it's going to be beta structure. So beta gluco gluco pyranose. So this is the um this is my um open chain from D glucose converting to the ring and we do know how to make a structure of alpha and beta how is going to be alpha if it is your carbon number one OH carbon number one hydroxy group and carbon number six is in the same side same same side it would be beta structure if if it is opposite side it's going to be alpha. alpha structure so look right now this oh is in the down position and this ch2 oh is going to eat up position up so that's why if, if this one is going down this is up that means this is opposite things not in the same side opposite side one is down one is going up that's why this one is alpha glucopyranose this one is alpha glucopyranose this structure is alpha glucopyranose and this one is this one is um going in the same side oh is in the up going to up side and ch2 oh is in the up the, both is in the same side that's why this is beta structure and that's why this is name is beta glucopyranose i hope you guys like my video if you really like my video don't forget to share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe if you have any question you can email me anytime my email address is alamgihusain1992 at gmail.com and i'll answer your question as soon as possible thank you for watching my videos and study hard hopefully see you in the next video thank you